COSA starts us off tonight. Hours to the official opening of the 27th Conference of the Speakers and Presiding Officers of the Commonwealth, several of the expected delegates have already arrived in the country. For the better part of the day, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Anit Among, and the Deputy Speaker, Thomas Taiwa, were receiving speakers and their delegations, including Malaysia, Samoa, Tonga, Mauritius, Maldives, and Ghana. The Deputy Speaker of Uganda's Parliament, Thomas Sewa, considers the conference as a huge tourism boost, saying that several delegates want to visit various tourism sites like the source of the Nile, Equator, Wildlife, among others. He notes that the Speaker's Conference is a big opportunity for the country to rehearse preparations for other upcoming international conferences, including the Nile Aligned Movement and G77 plus China. They do want to tour. Some of them have come with spouses, they've come with families, so we expect hundreds of people. And most of them are going to stay here beyond the time of the conference. Some were asking, they want to go and see the chimpanzees. So this is just beyond the conference. In Munyanyo, preparations are concluded and many of the delegates are already checking in. Members of parliament we spoke to expressed gratitude that the conference comes handy with sharing new ways of legislating. For me, it's more of how how they support the executive in running elections, in monitoring elections, in uh, legislating electoral laws, laws that really, really uh, try to minimize violence, try to minimize interferences with the results, try to, trying to minimize any fraudulent uh, uh, activities that might come with the with election. After this, we should be able to make our decisions, especially on human rights, especially on democracy, especially on the financial independence, especially when we are taking decisions at parliament, parliament must be independent. With inspirational delegations like Ghana already in Uganda, MPs indicate that it would be time for their presiding officers to learn more about separation of powers to avoid scenarios of parliament being fused with executive. Outside the security, the climate change, our economies, that we are going to discuss in this conference. I would also expect that out of this conference, our presiding officers should treat the House of Parliament as an independent body. We do not want to see situations like it has happened in the past, where Parliament is fused with the executive. You fail to run Parliament. Lawyer Aaron Kiza, who acknowledged the importance of Uganda to host the 27th conference, stressed that values like transparency and responding to critical societal challenges in terms of policy could be a great takeaway and can foster improvement of conducting parliamentary business. Behoves the speakers who are representing Uganda to emphasize good governance, to emphasize the rule of law, because we are weak on rule of law, we are weak on uh, democracy, we don't have enough transparency in parliamentary procedures. A good example is how they vet judges in Uganda. Legislators and the lawyer, however, say the conference should not shy away from talking about critical matters like human rights and democratic practices. The conference opening tomorrow third will be officiated by the president of Uganda, Yoweri Kogtem Seveni. Shamim Nawakosa, Moses Namayo, NBS, live at nine.